Well, hello there. This is another uh, look inside an, uh, a GSSL bus compressor with some more interesting modification on bolt-on little boards from Xpad Audio. This is a VU meter driver board. Now, a number of people have asked uh, how to make the uh, GSSL metering behave a little differently. This is the standard meter here which, as you can see, as you increase the threshold to make the compressor more sensitive, you can see the gain reduction shows a right deflection of a meter. The um, number of people have asked for something rather like an 1176 or an LA-2A display, where basically you have a needle which points at zero, and then with progressive gain reduction goes down from zero. Now there are a few ways of doing this, but only really one proper way because we're going from a logarithmic control voltage to a linear display. So what we need to do is demonstrate how, how easy it is to put this in. The board itself is manageably sized, and, uh, and in terms of retrofit, there is no track cutting on the board. Basically, we have uh, one set of four wires here, which goes off to the main board, and it solders on extraordinarily easily. Uh, the four connections which you make onto the main board are right here. You don't even need to remove the board. There's a negative 15 volts connection right here, positive 15 volts connection right here. Right next to the regulators is a zero volts connection. These are all just soldered onto links on top of the board, so you don't even need to remove the board to do it. The fourth wire is right down here, and it solders onto a resistor end or jumper, depending on whether or not you have a resistor or a jumper fitted right here next to the connector. It really is very, very simple. Uh, once the board is built, it can be installed in literally two minutes. That's all there is to it. Those are the four wires coming in, and then we have a pair of wires here, which go off to the VU meter. And the VU meter is basically an absolutely standard VU meter here. We've got it showing on a SIFAM. Uh, and you'll need to add the appropriate uh, series resistor. In this case, it's a 3.9K resistor because that's the resistance that a side frame requires. There is only one uh, preset adjustment on the control, and it's this trim pot right here. And the adjustment for that is to set the rest position of the needle. It has a range where it'll go basically from the end of the scale basically down to zero. And all you need to do for that is adjust that so that it points squarely to zero. And that's the only adjustment that's required for the VU driver board. How accurate is it? Well, let's see. If we want to know what the correspondence is like between the uh, readings on the VU meter for gain reduction and the actual signal coming out of the unit, this is what we'll do. We have a tone being sent from the nitric here, 1 kilohertz, and uh, what happens is if I adjust the threshold control and turn it down, you can see that the unit starts to go into compression. Um, we can read the level signal level coming out of the unit on the nitric here, which we've set to a we set to a local 0 dB reference. And here on the VU meter, we've got um, the gain reduction indication as displayed from the Expat Audio VU driver card. So now, if I bring the threshold down till we start to see the onset of gain reduction, we can see that at 0 dB on the VU meter, we have 0 dB gain reduction, 0 dB output level. If we turn it down so that we get minus 1 dB of output level, let's turn that down right now, it's close enough, 1.0 something, then the VU meter also shows minus 1 dB of gain reduction. If we turn it down to 3 dB of gain reduction, for example, we can see that the VU meter indeed shows minus 3 dB. 2 dB of gain reduction shows almost exactly 2 dB on the meter. You can see basically it's accurate to significantly within a tenth of a dB. So there's basically minus 2 dB and that's minus 2 dB on the meter there. If we take the needle down to minus 4 dB of gain reduction, we can see that it's basically minus 4 dB on the meter there. And this is entirely down to the, the, the width of the needle basically. If we take this down to minus 5 dB of gain reduction there, you can see minus 5 dB almost exactly on there, and so on and so forth. Basically, minus 6 dB there, there's minus 6 dB there. They agree almost entirely, basically. Again, minus 7 dB of gain reduction on here is going to be minus 
7 dB on the meter over there. Minus 10 dB here, minus 10 dB right there. The two of them agree basically absolutely. Now, one other advantage about using a passive, standard passive VU meter like this, uh, and again, just we'll show you minus 20 dB of gain reduction there, although we're well out of the accurate resolution of the meter there, but it's basically still showing minus 20. So if we let this go back to zero, we'll see minus zero dB there and zero dB here. The two of them agree absolutely. Okay, here's another little demonstration I have here. Uh, this is a pair of Siphon VU meters. Again, they're both passive VU meters, but the uh, the second VU meter is, is basically wired here, straight across the output. So it's just reading the signal going back into the nitrate coming out of the unit. As I turn down the gain reduction by reducing the threshold, you can see that the two of them read absolutely the same. So the one on the left is reading the output level, the one on the right is reading the gain reduction indication. And basically by turning down the threshold, we can see that it affects the signal. Um, the difference is if I now mute the signal, you can see that the left one is actually showing the output level signal and the right hand one is showing the gain reduction. Uh, if you want to put two meters on your unit, you're perfectly able to do this kind of thing. Now if I, um, if I show the gain reduction here, as I mute the signal, you can see that, uh, that the unit goes up here, like this. Now, the makeup gain on the output of the unit, so the one on the, on the right is affected by the makeup gain, but because the gain reduction of the compression is, is not affected, then you can see that the needle on the right still shows a constant amount of gain reduction, while the one on the left shows the actual output signal. So we reduce, reduce the level of the signal with compression and make up the actual signal level, which is the meter on the left, with makeup gain. Now, as I turn up the threshold, you can see that as the gain reduction goes down, the makeup gain takes the left-hand needle off the end. You don't have to use two, two meters for this. Just by using some simple passive switching to switch between the output of the VU driver board and basically a parallel tap which is coming across the output line from one of the two channels on the uh, output of the device, you can switch between output and gain reduction. If you want to put a three position switch on it, you can switch between output left, output right, and gain reduction. If you want to put a five position switch on it, you can switch between input left, input right, uh, gain reduction, output left, and output right. Or if you want to put a three position switch on it, you can switch between summed input left and right, or gain reduction, or summed output left and right by just doing a couple of clever wiring tricks across the differential outputs and inputs. There you go. There you have it. The Expat Audio VU meter driver. Uh, details at expataudio.com.